you don't know what's gonna sell yet. This, this process right here is to figure out what sells. So what you do next, next is... Uh, What's happening, people? So I just got done filming the super long process of everything that I was have been doing the last 10 months to generate $2.4 million. It turned out to be like 40 minutes long. So with that being said, I'm making a condensed version right here, something that you can consume super fast, maybe 10, 15 minutes max. I don't know how many people are going to watch the other video. There's a lot of good information there. Some of you will. Hope you do. But if you want the fast, easy, <laughs> consumable version, watch this video. This is like skip to the good parts really, really fast. And I'm gonna show you that right now. But here's a condensed version. I'm gonna make this video quick, super quick. Uh, step one, choose a niche. So this is like, if you wanna do a scuba, di design, scuba diving design, if you wanna do a Harry Potter design, if you want to do I Love Gun design, AR-15 design, whatever, you're gonna choose a niche. You're gonna go research designs and uh, like Pinterest, Google Images, uh, T-shirt websites. You're gonna get creative ideas that you can go. You're gonna have those designs, your creative ideas, your inspiration, you're gonna have made into designs. You're gonna have five, designs made five designs made per niche okay simple then you're going to take those five designs you're going to set them up on ppe facebook ads very important you choose post page engagement not, not no other objective post page engagement you want to use a 1200 by 1200 photo post you want to have three to five ad sets and you're going to set up all five designs with all three to five ad sets each ad set is going to be 500 to 500k to 1 million audience and um, do not set up these products. So you're, 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 you put these designs on a product and you're gonna create the ad, the photo post ad for this product with the design on it, but do not set that up on your store. It's a waste of time. You don't need to do it because uh, you don't know what's gonna sell yet. This, this process right here is to figure out what sells. So what you do next, next is uh, mobile news feed only, USA only. Uh, most likely you're gonna be selling in the US. So I, I start with the US for test. And then you can get them to choose your winner. So $5 spent per ad set, okay? Let's put that down there. Five dollars spent per ad set, and the next day, twenty-four hours later, twenty-four hours, uh, you're gonna choose a winner. This a winner looks like less than five cent, less than five cent uh, cost per engagement, and greater than two website link clicks per ad set. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a combination of cheap engagement with website link clicks on a single ad set. So you're testing all these, you're testing five ad sets per, three to five ad sets per design. So you got five designs. So you're testing a combination of, of uh, 15 to 25 different combinations. You're gonna find one combination of ad set with design that actually works. And this is why this, this process is so good because um, you're, you're finding exactly what the audience wants. They want this product with this design on it. Then. What you do next, you take that winning design, you choose, you figure out which one's gonna win, and you take that and you move it over to WC Purchase. Don't do view content, don't do add to cart, choose purchase, okay? And then WC Purchase, you take that exact same 1200 by 1200 photo post, the same one, you can create a new one, but use the same image, right? Because uh, I don't think you can you can transfer uh, objectives through, uh, to another campaign in Facebook, so you, you use the same photo, but set it up inside a WC Purchase. Uh, and then mobile newsfeed only again, to start, you can do desktop after. If it's working, then expand the desktop, expand the Instagram, expand to um, wherever you want to expand. But start with mobile newsfeed only. And then uh, you're gonna set up three uh, duplicates. So you have your four, you have your three to five ad sets, right? Your, your three to five ad sets. Then you, your three to five ad sets for USA. Then you duplicate three to five ad sets for the top 20 countries. This is based on GDP. Watch my longer video, I'll show you the countries. And the top 20 countries uh for worldwide so you can target worldwide or targeting so that's it so you can have if you have uh five you're gonna have 20 ad sets here or 15 ad sets sorry five times uh three is 15 five ad sets times three uh, countries is 15 ad sets so if you have four ad sets times three countries you have 12 ad sets okay so next you let you let this run for 24 hours again so now you have purchase ads 24 hours what you do is after five dollars spent you kill any ad sets over two dollar link clicks that's it very, very simple. Next, on a rolling seven days basis, so it means a seven day average. So after this first day, then you let it ride for another six days. You don't touch it, you don't look at it, okay? Then after that, you're gonna scale up ad sets under your max CPP, which is cost per purchase. So uh, I can show you that, how to do this real quick. 
and then kill ad sets over your max cost per purchase and scale down ad sets near your max cost per purchase. Uh, cost per purchase, your max, if you have a $29 product, okay, and uh, if you buy your wholesale product for 10 bucks, ship to your customer, you have a $20 margin. That means your max $20 margin equals your max CPP, okay? So with AOV and upsells and stuff, you should have like a $24 margin with, with margin with AOV. Very simple. So that that's that's the goal. This is the condensed um, condensed version. I don't want to make this video long, so I'm gonna kill it here. Stop talking, and if you want more information, watch the long one. Okay, guys, that's it. That's the end of the video.